One of the great responsibilities that we have is to tell boys and girls, men and women, why the narrow way. Why the narrow way? An old minister once said in a charge to a young candidate, young man, you are called to this church, not in the first place to preach sermons or make pastoral calls, but to live among the people the best life you can. I want to beg you here to consecrate your intellectual powers and your training, your seminary training, to the work of the gospel and the proclamation of the truth of God. I want to beg you to seek to proclaim the gospel as clearly, as cogently, and as coherently as you can. To argue it as persuasively as you can. Jesus says, now I warn you, it's narrow. And in relationship to secular society, its concepts are narrow, its theology is narrow. Everything is narrow about it. With those who are trying to justify themselves of going the wrong way, it's narrow. And then he says something that I can testify from my own experience. He says, uh, don't many people try. We must live what we preach, if what we preach is to live. Are we being called to be Bartimaeus? God can change us to change the world. And here at TEDS, we're not training the best, we're not training the greatest, we're training faithful followers of the Messiah. What do you want me to do for you? I want to see. I want to see the one die on the cross. I, I want to see the rejected Messiah changing the world. I want to be part of the redemptive history. I want to be part of how God is using me to change the world. Are we willing to do so? Are we willing to be faithful to God?